Weakness of one half of the body, hemiplegia. Hemiplegia or weakness of either half of the body is a common presentation in undergraduate and postgraduate examination as a short case or long case discussion. Watch this video of patient who had an ischemic stroke a year ago leading to weakness of left half of the body. Observe the classic hemiplegic gait and upper motor neuron signs on left half of the body on a patient with such weakness. He had residual left seventh cranial nerve upper motor neuron palsy. Rest of the cranial nerves were normal and he had no sensory deficit. Notice uh, the gait. Note how he shifts his weight to the normal leg right side, then uh, slightly abduct and circumness the uh, left leg and then shifts. And then notice the posture of the uh, upper limb, which is uh, flexed and semi pronated. Now we are going to examine the uh, motor system. First, the noticeable thing on inspection is the deflection of the left uh, upper limb and the this uh, wrist, the tone is markedly increased in the, on the left half of the body in the upper limb, both in the flexors, it's more marked in the flexors of the elbow and the wrist. And the tone on the right side is normal, but left side is uh, tone is increased and you can easily move the right leg, but you find it difficult to flex the left knee note this uh, slight wasting as well as uh, this increase this is lead pipe type of rigidity the rigidity remains throughout the movement when you are undoing it it is marked on the flexors of the elbow and uh, on the wrist as well same finding you notice in the leg you have a great difficulty in flexing it. Now, the tendon reflexes, bicep is markedly exaggerated or brisk on the left. It's uh, normal on the right. The brachioradialis, again, notice the brisk reflex on the left. The tricep is also exaggerated. Once again, notice the normal brachioradialis jerk on the right, right side and brisk on the left side. Now, this is demonstration of uh, Hoffman sign that you flex the middle uh, distal filling the distal, uh, middle finger and you would notice the adduction of the thumb and the little finger. Notice this uh, first we are finding it difficult to hold and place it. And uh, now we are uh, trying to. This is brisk left teacher. The ankle jerk on the right side. and brisk ankle flex on the left side. The whiskey or uh, planters on the right and the upgoing planter on the left side. So in a patient presenting with an old hemiplegia and uh, with partial recovery, the noticeable things are the how he walks, the gait, uh, as I explained, uh, his classical hemiplegic gait, where patient shifts its weight onto his normal leg, then slightly tilt his uh, pelvis and move the hemiplegic uh, limb for laterally and then forward. Uh, the tone markedly increase in the upper limbs. Uh, leads to a flexed posture of the, at the both at the elbow 
as well as the wrist and the fingers are in the flexed position. Uh, on examination, there is a lead pipe type of rigidity of an upper motor neuron sign. Uh, there can be a positive Hoffman sign in the upper limb, which is an equivalent of a Babinski sign in the foot or in the legs. And uh, then the marked hyperreflexia and uh, upgoing planters. As already mentioned, uh, this patient had uh, the partial residual left seventh nerve upper motor neuron type of palsy as well, but rest of the cranial nerves were intact. So this kind of lesion, if uh, we have to localize, would be best explained uh, as a result of a stroke in the right internal capsular area.